Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. After months in waiting to see who Joe Biden would choose for his vice presidential candidate in his run for president, we found out yesterday that he chose Kamala Harris, or Kamala, however you say it. I've heard both ways. Now, Kamala Harris w ran for president. She did a horrible job. I tried to see what her main focus would be if she actually got elected. And, you know, it had very little to do with the economy, a lot to do with socialized health care. But from what I saw, everything that was her main focus had to do with gun control. And now it makes sense why Joe Biden chose Kamala Harris, because he, for years, has been a strong advocate for gun control. He brags about taking on the NRA and beating them. He brags about being an integral part of the assault weapon ban. He brags about the passage of the Brady Bill. He brags about magazine capacity restrictions. This is the main focus from what I can tell. I've been watching. I'm, and you notice, every time they're in front of somebody, they, they talk about gun control, and on one hand, they'll say, well, nobody's coming after your guns, but then in a different setting, they say, oh yeah, we're taking your AR-15s, we're taking your assault rifles, we're going to institute all this stuff, and it leads people wondering, you know, what really is their position? Well, a Biden administration means they're gonna come for my guns. Bingo, you're right if you have an assault weapon. The fact of the matter is they should be illegal. I have seen this time and time again. Now, Biden said that he wants Beto O'Rourke. Remember him? The Mexican wannabe from Texas who, who claims to be an advocate for gun control. He's the one who's going to take all the AR-15s and AK-47s out. He's going to be the one. Another failed presidential candidate. Let's listen to what Beto O'Rourke said. And then let's listen to what Joe Biden said about Beto O'Rourke. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not going to allow it to be used against our fellow Americans anymore. You're going to take care of the gun problem with me. You're going to be the one that leads this effort. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. We need you badly. The state needs you. The country needs you. So he wants to put Beto O'Rourke in charge of guns in that was the one thing that I feel really sank O'Rourke in his presidential bid was his stance on gun control. And then when he got out of the presidential debates where he was in a fishbowl of liberals, he couldn't explain how that would actually make Americans safer. And so you could just see O'Rourke's like, I don't know if I want to do this. The same way Biden was when Obama chose him. Remember Shotgun Joe? He said, you don't need an AR-15, go buy a shotgun. Take two blasts outside of the house and makes all your problems go away. If you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun, have the shells, a 12 gauge shotgun, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. That goes to show you how ignorant these people are when it comes to firearms. They, they haven't a clue but now they're claiming to be the experts and they're saying nobody's going to take your guns away. But if you listen to Joe Biden himself, he he said it. He said, you know, this is my plan. I want to do this. But then they go on and say, but I'm a supporter of the Second Amendment. We hear this so often. These double speaking politicians, they their true colors come out in certain interviews. Check this out. They say assault weapons like AR-15 are needed for self-protection and recreation. They are not. If I'm elected and I'm coming for you and gun manufacturers, I'm going to take you on and I'm going to beat you. Give very little regard, any positive thought or respect to legal gun owners who prevent shootings every day. If you follow this stuff the way, the way I do and many people here do, we watch that legal gun owners prevent crimes constantly, but they don't care about you because you are part of the opposition. It, Trump and the NRA and Gun Owners of America are part of the opposition because they don't fall in line to what they want. And what they want is everybody on their side and say, yes, this is what we need. And then they'll also lie about it and say, well, most gun owners agree. I don't know many gun owners that agree with an assault rifle rifle ban. I don't know many gun owners that agree the, with a 10-day waiting period or magazine restrictions or mandatory background checks across the board. You could sell a gun to your brother or your dad and that person would have to do a background check 
constantly across the board. I don't know many gun owners who think it's right to go after the, the gun manufacturer if somebody misuses a firearm, but they, they belittle us for thinking that way, and Joe Biden himself said it. Wait, 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 wait. You need to take the AR, your AR-14s. If you need a hundred rounds in your in your in your in your clip, then you're you're a danger to yourself. A political tactic is to reach inside the souls of Americans and say, "We don't want people dying needlessly. We don't want this reckless gun violence." And I don't know anybody who does, except for the the mass murderer or the the, the criminal or the killer. They in fact want gun control because it would be less resistance against them. They don't like bullets coming back at them. They have no problem being the ones who pull the trigger. But they use this tactic and they say, "I'm the one." who can solve it when in fact nothing that they propose would help reduce crime. In fact, it would actually increase crime because the law-abiding people would get hurt by that. Now let's talk about Harris. She is just as bad as Joe, which makes perfect sense as to why he chose her because she's been going on and on and on how important it is to implement gun control. We need reasonable gun safety laws, including universal background checks. And to your point, Chris, a renewal of the assault weapons ban is just the right thing to do. Then you look at their proposal and that's exactly what they're doing. They say, I am a supporter of the second amendment, but then you listen to what they're saying and it's the exact opposite of that. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care if, if you're a hunter, a, a competitor, your uh, CCW carrier or just somebody who loves collecting firearms, loves shooting firearms, you have a real passion for it. They say, oh, no, no, you have nothing to worry about unless you have a magazine that holds more than we're allowing, unless you have a rifle that we don't think you should have, unless you have any firearm that is dangerous to people, we are going to ban it. They say it. And I also was able to get past an assault weapons ban as well as a limitation of the number of bullets that could be in a magazine. That is how many bullets you could fire at one time from a weapon. So if you love your freedom and your liberties and your guns and your protections, these two are not for you. Don't buy into the double talk. Their main platform, part of their main platform is to institute stricter gun control and they're coming after people like you and me and they actually show sympathy for the criminals. And it's pretty pathetic. I can't understand how everything's been twisted around and turned backwards. But that's where we're at with these two. We've seen where, where they've been. We see where they're going. And it's a major part of their platform. And I'm making this video because I don't want you to buy into it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. And you guys be safe.